again, hello and good afternoon, teachers, and thank you for joining us no, for today's webinar session or learning sessions natin today. No? It's again, this is an opening of a new series. No? Wala pa tayo talagang monthly series, pero meron na tayo ngayong um, isang kakaibang series. And I know, no, ka, mapapansin nyo, medyo konti rin tayo ngayon dito kasi this is a not regular schedule natin. We know we are so used to Thursday and Saturday schedule ng KTS. No? Pero kasi... Uh, nagkaroon lang tayo ng shift in schedule no um and um nilagay natin tong schedule na to every Wednesday so paki-mark na rin po ang ating schedule every Wednesday na pag Wednesday alam natin na may KTS session na rin no lalo na po this time of uh, ano no sa time sa panahon sa month ng o oh, ng June okay pero syempre babalik din po yun yung mga regular programs natin soon here at KTS so abangan lang po natin yan okay pero again for now uh, we'll be having no uh, a very interesting series no um which is centered on a very particular um aspect of education which is the learning management system and we will get to that in a while pero bago tayo siguro magsimula no at bago natin tahakin at uh, mas mapalalim pa no itong uh, ating discussion for today let me first uh, greet our teachers in the chat no who are here as early as very very early yesterday uh from um, FC et, uh, etc good afternoon um Abderasak Makwar uh, good afternoon, Teacher Cherise Lubiano, Teacher Roxanne Altea Fernandez, Teacher Miyuki Madeline, Teacher Sandata Villarreal, Teacher Lamberto Pilatan, Teacher Mary Grace Binatak, Teacher Dean Clifford Wame, Teacher Cla of course, no, Miss Clara Lim is also here. I'll introduce her, uh, her, her later on in our program. Uh, teacher Albert, uh, Arlene Alberto, Teacher Fedelina Salcedo, Teacher Alan Brutas, Teacher Ensaf, uh, Coach Ensaf, Teacher Benchi Carandang, Teacher Mary Grace Castillo, Belia Lovendino, Jay Sargento, Teacher Kari Dominic Abihuro, no? special mention and special shout out to Teacher Kari Dominic Abihuro kasi kakasubmit lang niya ng kanyang thesis. Nakita ko na ang kanyang hardbound thesis. No? Teacher Gemma Rivera, Teacher Louie Jacob. No? Uh, alam ko sobrang busy rito si Teacher Louie pero thank you for joining us for today. Uh, teacher Sonia, yep. Teacher Katrina Desena, Teacher Leo Cel Villantes, Teacher SGC, Teacher Alex Javier Alvarez, Teacher Sabinyosa Donya Marie, and Teacher Joan Delino. Magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And of course, teachers, sa mga nandito po ngayon, Kim, uh, we would like to ask your ano no your help uh, to please do share our link for today, no, para po mas marami tayong ma-invite. Um, na educators no in our session kay as we talk about learning management system kasi teachers no napaka this is a very important decision making that we'll have to make no as we transition back to face to face because we know no um, even if uh, it's a post pandemic it's going to be soon so sana no um cross fingers we're going to have the post pandemic um scenario okay learning management systems will not be like a foregone or will be a forgotten aspect of education. Instead, actually, you know, this is something that's going to be part of our education in the long run. Okay? Uh, we know how effective learning management systems are uh, in, uh, in facilitating um, the, the teaching and learning process you know, online. Okay? And we will be testing that as we transition back to on-site, to hybrid, to high flex. Some of them are blend flex, you know, these different kinds of modalities. What's common about them is that we're going to see uh, the learning management system staying uh, in education in the long term. Okay, so this is a very appropriate, no, very rightful time to talk about to to um, ano, to uh, to discuss about. Okay, what are learning ma learning management systems and what are the true nature of learning management system? Because sometimes sobrang overuse no or min minsan na abuse yung paggamit ng LMS but without really knowing what what's what are the core characteristics of uh, learning management systems so that's what we're going to talk about today what are learning management systems how does it help you as an educator and that how will it help the facilitation the facilitating the teaching learning process okay so let me get into first into my um presentation ayan okay um once again a congratulations teacher Kari abihuro okay so for today uh before we start no okay um um i'll 
also do some disclaimers first also no? okay because this is a series that will is that is actually tied up with a uh, an, an international brand no called D2L uh, which basically means no desire to learn okay and in this no we are actually going to introduce to you a very powerful amazing learning management system called bright space but okay just a disclaimer because of course no uh, i'm not really the full expert in uh, in, in bright space no of course um, we will have uh, an, an the expert no on bright space discussing the entire bright space on our next session so hold on onto your um, uh, seats muna no so for now we're just going to lay down the foundation okay we will still will still first talk about what are learning management systems okay and what it's supposed to do. Okay, yun muna ang kailangan natin pag-usapan kasi bago tayo pumili siguro, no, before we even choose and before we even decide, no, uh, which learning management systems we're going to use, let's first get to know what exactly are learning management systems for. Baka naman nagiging, nadala lang tayo ng, ng, ng fad, ng popularity, and all of this, ano, no, um, rush of the pandemic, but without really knowing what exactly uh, learning managements are so that's what we're trying to go uh, what we're going to discuss for today's session okay so let me get um um now formally introduce to you our topic for today which is our learning management systems uh, system and d2l's bright space by the way teachers this is a certified session so lahat po ng sessions natin for this series on the bright space series is all will all be certified are all certified now so we'll be getting a certificate um, um for each session that you'll be attending now plus uh you'll be getting it as soon as immediately uh right after the session the moment you uh, accomplish the evaluation form syempre nag advance na rin tayo ngayon sa ating mga protocols na so i'm making sure Yes, no, shout out to uh, teacher um, Jeffrey Beltran, okay? Medyo matagal lang inintay, no, teacher, Belt, uh, teacher Jeffrey, no, sa pagbabalik ng mga sessions natin. Uh, ang sinundan pa ni teacher Jeffrey ay mga May series namin, yung family series namin. So, thank you so much, uh, teacher Jeffrey. Anyway, so let's go back, no, and let's focus on what we're um, going to talk about today. So, we're talking about learning management systems and D2L's bright, bright space, no? Um, brought to you by D2L and of course Kaagapay Teacher Support. Let me first introduce myself to you. Um, sa mga hindi pa po nakakilala, no, gusto ko lang po ulit magpakilala. Ako po si, uh, I'm Franco Nicolo Piado, no, Administrator of Kaagapay Teacher Support and of course um, the social media influencer of D2L. Not ambassador, no, sir, uh, uh, Teacher Jeffrey, no, that's a different title, no, hindi yan basta-basta nabibigay. Okay, so that's uh, an, an entirely different um title given by D2L to those are, who are experts uh, in using uh, D2L and, of course, uh, the different application by D2L, no? including D2L, uh, D2L's Bright Space, okay? So, um, let me first um, talk about no, to you, uh, of our outline for today. So, these are the things we're going to try to talk about today, okay? So, the first one is we'll, we'll talk about redefining LMS, okay? What is exactly is an LMS, okay? And uh, right after, we're, uh, we'll talk about characteristics of an LMS, okay? What are uh, the, the things that you're supposed to be looking for an LMS? Ayan, mag-checklist uh, tayo mga teachers, no? <clears throat> if you are already using um, a particular LMS, okay, or you're planning to use an LMS, eto na ngayon, yung checklist natin. Ito yung mga dapat nating hanapin when it comes to choosing your 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 appropriate no um LMS for your school, okay? And of course, benefits of an LMS, no? So you have we also have to know and we also have to understand what exactly are LMS for, okay? Uh, especially if we are going to as uh ano no um we're going to pitch this to to the parents no of your students, we have to know and we have to make uh, send the message no, or the correct message on why an LMS is being used or will be used by their kids in your school. Okay, And of course, we're going to contextualize our discussion in the shifts in education. So we know about LMS. So we also have to talk about how are LMS adapting uh, to the ever-changing and shifting um, um, educational landscape. We know that, no? we experience that, the constant shift, no? shift in 2020, shift midway of 2021, and now another shift in 2022. So your LMS should also be able to, to get into that shifting, constantly shifting landscape of education. And of course, um, 
I'll uh, uh, introduce to you now already the D2L Bright Bright Space. Now, so to get to know exactly what is this D2L, what uh, what do they offer, what is this Bright Space, and how this um, particular platform can elevate you no know, and leverage the e-learning in your particular schools. And um, we have uh, I don't know uh, one of the members of the team of D2L with us um, in the background. You no, know, so uh, we have we will have an open forum. Later on, uh, and we'll try to answer as many questions as as we can about uh, our topic for today uh, on learning management systems. Okay, yeah, excited na po for D2L according to Teacher Carl Sapungan. Okay, and of course, no, good afternoon to the rest of our teachers who are just coming in. Okay, I know it's a Wednesday, malamang po. You're just coming in from school. Uh, may mga pauwi pa lang, may kakaupo pa lang sa kanilang mga desktop at sa kanilang mga laptop. So thank you so much. Maybe some of you are watching from your mobile phones. Thank you so much for that as well. So let's get into our topic or our discussion for today. Okay? So let's first define. Okay? Actually, redefining LMS. Because we know we have this... Uh, idea already what is an LMS, okay? Um, we have been using the word LMS, the, the, the acronym LMS, no, for such a long time already, okay, that it came like sort, sort of like um, it, it normalized already, okay? It, uh, we are so used on using the word or the, the, the acronym LMS, okay? Pero ano nga ba ang LMS? And um, what, how do we exactly uh, define al, an LMS, okay, uh, when it comes to in relation to education. Okay, so when we talk about LMS, okay, I'd like to first hear your thoughts, teachers. Okay, on your end, kayo po, okay, uh, what is actually an LMS? Okay, for you, if you're thinking, for example, an LMS, without, by the way, no, mentioning any LMS, no, sa buong nating i-mention, for example, yung mga LMS na ginagamit natin, pero if you come to think about it, okay, if you are going to be asked, for example, you, you, you were asked by a parent, so exactly what is an LMS, okay? How would you answer that question? Of course, let's not just um, I don't know, uh, expand that to the learning management system. Pero how do you answer the question, what is an LMS? No need for an essay, teachers. No, I'm just looking for insights, for ideas okay? uh, on how do you define an LMS. Okay? So I'll just wait for uh, some of your answers, teachers, in the chat. Okay? And while we're doing that and while we're waiting for some of your insights in the chat teachers, okay, let me first also remind no, once again that, that this is a, um, um, a certified session. Okay, so we will be giving certificates to all of our participants for today's session. Mukhang medyo matagal pumasok no, yung mga sagot. No? Malamang nagtatype pa yung mga teachers natin sa chat right now no? and um, uh, rethinking or baka okay, that could be an edu uh, indicator no, na o oh, nga no. Uh, I have been using the word or the acronym LMS, okay? And we have been using it in school. But exactly what's the definition of an, an LMS, okay? So this is sort of like a reflective exercise as well. So from Teacher Lamberto Pilatan, no? okay? Uh, alert, of course, the learning management system. From Teacher Alan Brutas, according to him, it's a software application, okay? Um, Teacher Raquel Manu Manakis, no, um, Manawis, okay? it's a learning management system, okay? So again, that's 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 the um, I don't know, uh, ex expanded uh, meaning of LMS. Na pero what exactly is at the core of an LMS? According to Teacher Rizel Ida, okay, it is used to plan and assess, okay? Uh, so that's that's one of the, uh, I don't know, maybe the definition we're looking for, okay? Um, software application, something that you used to plan and to assess, okay? So now, let's get into this definition, okay? So if we look at uh, learning management system or LMS, no, okay? These are the key uh, actually, no, uh, yung tatlong words na yan already gives you the idea of what exactly is a learning management system. Okay? So, unang-una. So, keyword natin is learning. Okay? So, when you talk about learning management system, we're talking about it allows you to design, to implement, and to support learning. Okay? So, it's not just about uh, implementing learning because some of the learning management systems that I have seen so far, no, uh, in my years of as, as a teacher, as an educator, only allows you to implement, but to design okay, uh, your course, no, or your uh, your content, no, or your core, your 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 strategies, your activities in the pl uh, platform, 
is not being allowed. Okay? Or sometimes, kulang naman dun sa support. Okay? Na-implement nga, nakapag-design, nakapag-implement, pero after that, hindi na susuportahan yung learning ng ating mga estudyante. Okay? So that's the key, um, one of the key things we're looking for an, uh, for an LMS. No? Allows you to design, implement, and support learning. Okay? So learning yung uh, focal point niyan, teachers. No? Okay? And of course, the second keyword is management, okay? So, ibig sabihin, okay, kapag management kasi, no, it's, it allows you to organize the course. Pero, part of the management as well is that it allows all stakeholders to be able to use and impact the learning, okay? So, ibig sabihin, when you talk about LMS, it should not be just the students and the teachers, okay? Kailangan, when you talk about LMS, we're also talking about the ability of the administrators to see and manage as well the learning the, the LMS or the learning of the students as well as the parents also should be involved no um in that uh, in that platform kailangan meron din silang insights or they are able to also assist their kids or their children no in using that particular platform okay so management okay, allows access for all stakeholders okay so usually kapag inisip natin na LMS teacher students lang okay how about the parents how about the administrators? Okay? Um, both the, of those ad, uh, stakeholders are also equally important when it comes to education. Okay? And of course, system. Okay? Um, when we talk about LMS, no, um, it's a system. Okay? It's supposed to have multiple features, okay? tools, applications, that are not like compartmentalized. Okay? When you talk about uh, a system, it actually is composed of spar uh, parts no? that actually work together. Okay? That's a system. Similar to, for example, no, the, the human body. We are composed of many organs okay? uh, and it, it works no, to, for us to be able to like, function as a human being. Okay? Pero that's supposed also uh, that's also this in the same way no so dapat ganun din ang LMS no madami kang functions applications key features key and parts but all of these features are working together in order to facilitate learning okay that's an LMS at the very core so kapag inisip ulit natin pag binalikan natin are your LMS able to do this Okay, so that that's a that's a question. No? Again, uh, we're not going to question um existing LMS in the Philippines, pero uh that's supposed to be uh the essence no, of an LMS. If it's not being um met no by your LMS, then that's a question of the, the efficiency and the capabilities of your LMS. Okay, so that's the reason why we're talking about this, we're reviewing these concepts no about LMS no. Furthermore, okay, pag pinag-usapan din natin ng learning management system, we're talking about that it is a software application. So tama ano? Tama kanina yung sinabi kanina na it is a software application according to teacher Alan Brutas no. Kasi uh, it's composed of uh, it's really no um uh, ano no an uh, um a program no created to assess to assist sorry, to assist uh, the learning process. It could be also a web-based technology. Now that is used to plan, implement, and assess a specific um I don't know specific uh, learning process. Sorry, okay. Um, it is used for e-learning basically. No, that's that's the primary purpose talaga of uh, learning management systems. It allows you to do or conduct uh learning no um digitally. Okay, and uh, in the most common form, it consists of two elements. Okay, it's a server that performs the base functionality and a user interface. So meron kang nag operate uh or naga assist no um nung uh, nung um nung elements mo at the same time the user interface okay it's rin yan sa minsan missing no minsan meron ka talagang mo meron kang elements pero walang server okay so ibig sabihin parang stand alone lang yung inyong elements no it's not actually able to create that community of uh, learning environment which should not be kasi kailangan ang elements is ab able to connect instructors okay students okay administrators in uh, um, actually, the entire school all together. Okay? Kasi dapat yun yung nagagawa ng isang LMS. Okay? So, that's what is an LMS. No? So, hindi lang siya learning management system. Okay? So, that definition can be expanded into what we're supposed to ex ano, expect from a, um, a learning management system. Okay? So, 
teachers, okay? Ngayon pa lang, no? Um, as we, uh, when we make choices, when we make decisions, okay? On which management, uh, learning management systems we're going to use, dapat dito tayo nakatuntun. This is supposed to be uh, what we're looking for, okay? So we're not just looking for, um, um, I don't know, um, a learning management system that, uh, that allows you to send assignments, okay? Or uh, maybe allows you to um, to conduct uh, video conferences, but instead does all of these things, no, uh, for you to be able to conduct the teaching and learning process, regardless if it's online or on site. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Okay, so I hope that we were already able to define, you know, and we are all on the same page. Okay, that's the goal of the first section of our. Um, of our ano, uh, discussion, okay? So when we talk about um, learning management systems, there are also different types of an LMS, okay? Uh, thank you, Teacher Tinti, no? uh, for, for that uh, ano, uh, agreement, okay? So when you look at an LMS, you're looking actually um, on four kinds of LMS, okay? So the first kind of an LMS is a cloud-based LMS, okay? So basically, when we talk about cloud-based, this is an LMS that operates online, okay? And all the data are, are, are stored no, in a cloud-based server, okay? So it means, for example, if you upload the data, uh, it goes online, okay? And you can access it um, online. And what's good about a cloud-based um, LMS is that since it's an LMS that's uh, online, no, you can actually access it across different platforms. That's the basic, most fundamental, and amazing advantage of a cloud-based LMS. Okay? Regardless if you are on your desktop, on your laptop, on your tablet, on your phone, you can access a cloud-based LMS. Okay? Actually, right now, no, more and more um more and more um elements no are are are, 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 are being designed as cloud based elements because it allows that flexibility and accessibility for all users okay? plus again when you are uh, ano, no, um, in a cloud based uh, elements it actually um uh, provides you that much ano, no, um um access that you can access it anytime Anywhere, even if you're at home, in school, you're walking, etc., you can access your LMS. And that is the beauty of um, a cloud-based LMS. Okay? There are also no, um, some LMS that are what we call self-hosted. Okay? So these are LMS that are not on the cloud, no, but rather also online, okay? but it's actually hosted by the institution. Okay? So the only, the only difference is that when you are self-hosted, um, LMS, you'll have to pay, for example, for your domain, you'll have to pay for your uh, own servers, okay, etc., to be able to do this, okay. Um, there are also some self hosted, um, uh, ano, um, LMS, okay, that are contained within, in, uh, within the school, okay. I can remember that, uh, in our school before, we have an LMS, okay, that we are using exclusively for our school, okay. So it was a program that was created primarily just for our school. So that's also a kind of a self-hosted um, uh, no, LMS. Okay? And there are also what we call desktop-based. Okay? So these are LMS that you download into your desktop okay, to be able to use it. Okay? So these are locally hosted. Okay? Um, could also be connected to the internet, but primarily operates within your um, your, within your computer. You know? Unlike, for example, to some cloud-based um uh, LMS that are are accessed via browser. Okay, so you have to access it by um, uh, Safari, uh, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, etc. Okay, and of course we also have LMS that are primarily meant for, uh, I don't know, for um, um for mobile. Okay, so it's a mobile application LMS that are built okay, in order to be accessed uh via mobile um, phones. Okay, or maybe tablets as well. No, as long as it's it's really a mobile uh, device. Okay. Could be, no, uh, Teacher Lamberto, no, Depth and Commons may be sort of like a self-hosted LMS, although it's actually um, uh, transitioning between um, teacher, uh, ano, no, uh, teacher Lamberto between a cloud-based and also a self-hosted, okay? Because I know that uh, while um, Depth and no, uh, operates that um, that uh, platform on their own server, okay? It's also cloud, no? On the cloud, no? Naka, Naka-host sa cloud yung mga materials ng, um, ng DepEd Commons, no? Even, for example, the learning center of uh, DepEd, no? It's actually also considered as an LMS, no? And could be what we can consider, no? As a cloud-based 
LMS as well. Thank you, Teacher Alamberto, for that uh, input as well. Okay, so teachers, ayan, no? Okay, so right now, we are um, clarifying, no? What are LMS? What are the different types of LMS? And what were, what are we supposed to be looking for? A correct and appropriate LMS for our school, okay? So moving on. So let's now talk about characteristics of at an LMS. Now, teachers, I'll be asking for your input once again, okay? If you'll be asked, okay? Kung tatanungin po kayo, okay? If you'll be asked, no, what are the, uh, when you talk about, no, kasi, Again, no, sobrang uh, gamit na gamit na yung word na LMS. No? Um, we're using an LMS. Uh, we'll be having an LMS. Pero exactly when we talk about LMS, what are your top two non-negotiable characteristics of an LMS? If you're going to be asked teachers, I'm going to ask you right now, ano yung top two nyo na dapat hindi nawawala when we are choosing okay, uh, an LMS? Say, for example, you are the administrator. Okay? Say, for example, yan. Hello to uh, Teacher May uh, Baisa Versosa. Okay? Good afternoon and uh, shout out. Um, say, for example, no, Teacher May, no, ikaw ang, uh, ang um, decision maker ng school mo and pipili kayo ng, uh, ng inyong LMS. Anong dalawang characteristics ang uh, pwede mong, ang hahanapin mo dun sa inyong LMS. Okay? Yan. While waiting, no, let me also read the, the comment of teacher um, Fidelina. Okay? Sir, uh, Google site po ginagamit para sa classic considered po bang LMS? Teacher Fidelina, not actually. No? Um, it it is could it could it could facilitate the learning process but it could it's not like really no um um be considered as an LMS no or a learning management system say for example uh, ang unang-una na kagad yan teacher Fedelina no kapag uh, Google site yung ginamit nyo okay walang access talaga yung administrators okay or um, hindi nagkakaroon ng impact din yung parents okay um and the interaction and the um, the engagement no between the instructor and the student no is actually limited as well okay so and according to teacher Lamberto Pilatan we're looking for content and accessibility syempre no okay kasi lalo na sa mga subject areas natin content and of course accessibility no can the students access this okay from uh, teacher um, Benchi Karandang okay accessible and user friendly Okay, so dapat daw, um, of course, no, accessible and user-friendly, madaling gamitin. Okay? Uh, according to Teacher Kari Dominic Abihuro, flexibility and security. Okay? Uh, and siyempre, of course, no, we're looking for um, an, uh, an element that can accommodate changes no, as we go. Because again, educational landscape is continuously on the fly and shifting okay and of course security you know if we are going to put um students in that lms no uh we're going to put information how secured is that lms for our students and for us as well okay uh according to teacher uh, rosemary Abra abesha okay flexibility lamberto pilatan uh from teacher lamberto pilatan um user friendly integrated learning okay teacher marhim mark Af uh, arafeles able to dispense assignments to learners of biased learning styles and able to track student engagement i like that idea able to track student engagement no how often your students engage how how uh, how much your students um, stayed in in maybe in the call or uh, in doing your assignments or in reading your uh, assigned works no okay teacher alan okay, I said giving feedback and simple and easy to use okay? And of course, teacher Lesel Villantes, okay? low maintenance, syempre, lalo na po sa atin, no? okay? We also have, we are also thinking about um, uh, LMS that can actually last for long, no? Hindi yung laging may problema or kaya medyo expensive yung maintenance, no? That will not be very practical, especially in the context of Philippine uh, education, okay? So, when we talk about LMS, okay, these are some of the characteristics we're supposed to be looking for, okay? So, unang-una, responsive design, okay? So, the, the LMS is accessible across different platforms and devices. So, um, can you look at your LMS, okay? Access it in tablet, access it in, um, in, in your phones, and access it in your laptop or desktop. Responsive design means in different uh, devices, nagbabago-bago din yung interface according to your device. Okay? So kung nasa phone ka, it's fitted in your phone um, um, 
uh, interface. Okay? Kung nasa tablet ka, it's fitted into your tablet um, interface. At kung nasa uh, ano ka, nasa tablet ka or nasa, nasa desktop ka or laptop, naka, naka-fit din yung design for that. That's one of the things we're looking for. Kasi syempre, um, if for example, the only best way to access the LMS is um, laptop, then how about those that without laptops, okay? So that's something that we have to be looking for, okay? Kailangan kahit saan ko tingnan yung LMS na yan, same pa rin yung makikita ko. I can access all resources. Um, I can engage, no? Um, uh, regardless of my device, okay? And of course, yung second natin, which was mentioned by many of you, user-friendly, okay? Kasi it's supposed to manage learning, okay? So it's not supposed like to complicate the process, okay? If it's any, it's supposed to uh, to make the, the the process much easier for people to understand, to engage, to maybe to read materials, okay? to um to learn in the platform. If it's a platform that makes it like really hard for you to um to understand how to use it, then it defeats the purpose. No, it will not be able to manage learning because it can't manage itself in the first place. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Kailangan madaling gamitin. Um. Hindi yung, for example, one year na pero meron pa rin mga students na hindi alam kung paano gamitin yung platform. Okay? So that that's one of the things that we're supposed to look for an LMS. Okay? Reports and analytics. No? Some, uh, one or also mentioned kanina about feedbacking. No? Okay? Napakahalaga po niyan kasi uh, it's not supposed to just allow you to send assignments. Okay? Uh, it should also allow you to collect assignments, okay? grade them in the platform. And maybe give you also analytics, okay? Because these analytics are important in uh, evaluation, in feedbacking, and also in redesigning the learning. Kasi ginagamit ng mga teachers yan, no? To, to realign objectives, to realign content, uh, etc. Kung wala tayong mga feedback and analytics, no? Medyo mahirap um, gamitin yung LMS na yan. Okay, so again, uh, first three pa lang po yan, no? We still have uh, six more, Okay. Number four, okay? So, kailangan din natin, no? Na meron tayong course catalog, um, course and catalog management. Ibig sabihin, when you develop your modules, okay? When you develop your courses, okay? It's properly catalog, no? It's properly uh, organized into your LMS, no? Hindi yung nawawala or kaya mahirap hanapin, okay? It should allow you to uh, curate your content, no? And uh, your resources in your LMS, okay? Because uh, if at an educator no, or a teacher able to facil- uh, ano, no, curate materials properly, then it also facilitates um, that ease of use for the students. Okay? And of course, support services. Yan, ito na. Dito na medyo magkakatalo-talo yung mga LMS natin. May support services ba ang inyong LMS? Okay? Pag nagkaroon ba kayo ng problem, meron ba kayong pwedeng tawagan to be able to uh, to troubleshoot, um, to teach you how, or kaya... Ano no at tulungan kayo dun sa problem ng LMS nyo. Okay, so isa yan sa dapat nating hinahanap. Okay? Um, most uh, especially if it's a paid LMS no, uh, dapat meron yang support services. Okay? And of course, social learning capabilities. Ayan na. Okay? Pumapasok na tayo ngayon dun sa trends in education. Alam natin, okay? Na ang mga estudyante natin magtatagal sa TikTok ng 6 hours, okay? Pero maiinip at mabobore yan. Makakarelate ba teachers natin, no? Na ma- maiinip, mag, uh, hindi man lang nakakabisita sa ating LMS, no? Uh, kahit uh, 10 minutes man lang or 15 minutes man lang. So what's missing, okay? So what, um, what, how are these um, social media platforms able to capture the attention of our students, okay? While some of our LMS, no, are becoming sort of like something that you would like to avoid uh, altogether. Okay? So, dapat ang ating LMS may kakayahan ng mag-adapt ng mga characteristics ng social uh, learning um, um, platforms or kaya ipasok no, or integrate yung, for example, Facebook, um, TikTok, Instagram, or other or Twitter maybe into our learning management system to be able to also capture the 21st century learners who are social media sabi. Okay? Kailangan natin silang imit where they are teachers, no? Yan is mga bagay na dapat nating uh, inaalala din. Okay? And of course, gamification. Okay? Does your LMS allow you to um, give extra motivation and engagement? Okay? Can you do like gamification activities 
in your or gamified uh, activities in your uh, platform okay because that's also one of the things no especially in an e-learning um, platform or e-learning um, uh, environment no that that motivation that um, engagement is very necessary in order to capture the the attention of our students okay and second to the last is automation okay kailangan mas pinapadali ng LMS yung trabaho mo bilang isang educator at hindi pinapahirap. Okay? So, dapat yung LMS natin, meron siyang mga automated processes like, for example, adding students okay? or, um, again, yung, yung analytics that's also one of the uh, uh, automation as well. no Or um, generating uh, submissions okay? or opening submissions, etc. All of this no should be present as well in your LMS no? to remove tedious tasks. Why? So that teachers can have more time for actual teaching. Kasi minsan, nauubos na ang oras natin kaka, ano, no, um, um, uh, uh, kakagawa no, or doing some tedious tasks um, in, um, in our line of work. Okay? So, but LMS should be able to help you with that. And of course, the last one is customization. Okay? Because it's also very important, especially for institutions, that your institutions are properly reflected into your learning management systems. Okay? Uh, for example, your brands, your logos, etc. All of these uh, are supposed to be present as well into your learning management systems. Okay? So that's those are the nine key characteristics of learning management systems that we're supposed to be looking for an LMS. Okay, so teachers, okay? Uh, isang ano no uh, one, uh, one challenge for our teachers no out of the nine okay responsive design user friendly interface reports and analytics course and catalog management support services social learning capabilities and gamification automation and customization how many do you have for your current um LMS right now okay so uh, can we like share in the chat no uh, are you uh, 9 out of 9, 6 out of 9, 7 out of 9, 8 out of 9. No? no need for explanation and no need to identify which are present in your LMS right now. So yan, tingnan natin. No? Para lang ma-revisit ma ulit natin we can like um, uh, look back no, and check our LMS no, if it's actually able to meet the, the characteristics no, and the demands okay, of being an LMS. No? Okay? Thinking about it, no? Um, we're using an LMS um, in a, in my school, okay? And I must say, we are around six out of nine, okay? So for our school, no? Oh, for Teacher Alex, it's uh, three out of nine. Yan, Teacher Alex, no? So talaga medyo kailangan pag-isipan natin yan, okay? Uh, medyo madaming nawawalang characteristics, no? For the LMS. So thank you, uh, Teacher Alex, for that, okay? Uh, kami medyo six, six out of nine, no? Um, yung uh, LMS namin, okay? So, how about the others? Okay. Um, an nasan tayo ngayon? What are your, the levels, no? Or what are the, yan na, pumasok na, no? Six out of nine, six out of nine, five out of nine, no? So, medyo madaming characteristics pa rin ang nawawala dito sa ating uh, mga elements as of the moment. Okay, ngayon, tingnan natin naman ngayon ang benefits, no? Thank you, maraming salamat pa for those who are uh, sharing their, ano, their ratings, okay? Ngayon, Tingnan naman natin ang benefits of an LMS. No? Why use an LMS in the first place? Okay? Why are we supposed to use this? No? Um, for most of you here right now, no? okay? especially those who are 90s no? and uh, uh, maybe early 2000 um, students, okay? we, have, we, have, we did not use LMS before. Okay? But why was there suddenly a need for an LMS? Okay? Why are we pushing for an LMS uh, in this uh, ano, no, period uh, in our ano, no, um, um, in education. Okay? So let's look at some benefits of an LMS and why are we supposed to um, use this. Okay? So uh, the first one is that uh, LMS allows you to monitor user progress and performance okay? because of the automation, analytics. No? Again, if only your LMS has uh, reports and analytics, okay? it allows you to properly monitor progress of your students. Okay? Although, in a regular setting, no, um, without an LMS, we can still do this, no, through the grades. But sometimes, the the monitoring, no, can only happens at the end of the quarter once all the grades are in. Um, so it's so hard to actually do intervention because of that. But with an LMS, 
uh, with the analytics and reporting of an LMS, it gives you that very crucial information if you need to intervene already and um, ano, ano, uh, help your students to be able to achieve your learning objectives. Okay? Second, uh, it increased learning access without geographic lim limitations. Nan, okay, That's one of the best things about LMS. No? It's not like space um, dependent, okay? So you don't need to learn in a in a four corner uh, classroom, no? okay? With an LMS, you can actually learn anywhere you are. You're in the bus, you're at home, uh, you're in a different province, okay? You are um, in a different um, uh, place, no? You can learn. You, learning continues because there is an LMS, okay? So that's one of the best things about LMS. No? And again, that's one of the best things about e-learning, okay? So it removes any geographic limitation. And like before, no, uh, if you're very far from the classroom, sometimes, or the school, sometimes either you stop or uh, it makes it very hard for you to um, to reach, um, to attend the school or um, um, classes, okay, et cetera, okay? And of course, uh, thank you, uh, um, Coach Insap, okay? And of course, no, personalized learning experience, okay? Through an LMS, we can fully customize a uh, personalized learning experience, okay? Uh, send materials to a student, okay? Um, and we say uh, personalized learning, we can, we're also talking about students taking courses, taking contents no, on their own uh, pacing, on their own uh, timing, no? um, and of course, maybe uh, also arrangement of the course or the content. Okay? So it gives them so much more uh, ano, no, um, um, independence okay? in their learning, their own learning. So learning becomes something that they really own. Okay? That's one of the best things about an LMS. No? And that's actually, no, we experienced uh, throughout the pandemic no, when we launched uh, learning through LMS. No, we saw how students react. No, um, if um, modules are created, um, so that they can use it. No, uh, in their own pacing, in their own time, and um, I don't know, um, access it. Okay, um, on their own. Okay, that's one of the things. No, that's um, uh, LMS. Okay, uh, can bring. Okay, and of course, efficiently and easily modify learning designs. Okay, uh, I can still remember because when when I started. Um, when I started um, um, my, my my career no, as an educator, okay, we would we would like um, design our uh, our lesson plans no um, in in Microsoft Word, okay, uh, and we'll have to print it, okay, and we'll have to put it in our um, our collection, okay, of uh, our lesson plans, okay, so that uh, anytime there's someone who will visit our classroom, we will show our lesson plans, okay, and sometimes it's so hard to um, to edit or maybe to modify later if there's something wrong about um, the lesson plan. And next year, we'll have to do it again. Okay, we'll have to like type everything and um, uh, print again everything. No, and mean sometimes modification are not reflected properly into uh, our lesson plans or our course. Unlike, for example, if it's in an LMS, no, you can fully see um, how how or where can you improve a particular course or content. No, how you can rearrange. No. And um, or modify a particular course or your uh, I don't know, modules uh, in your LMS, okay? Uh, because it's there, okay? And, and since it's online, okay, uh, it's fully reflected right away into your uh, own LMS, okay? So you don't need to print it again or um, have it on paper anymore, okay? So that's uh, yet another, I don't know, um, crack, um, Benefit of an LMS, okay? And of course, effective and uh, effective distribution of learning materials, okay? We saw that uh, when during the pandemic, no, we saw the, the the power of an LMS because it allowed us to actually reach to as many people as possible, no, um, given the the physical limitations of the pandemic. Okay? And we saw that uh, we don't actually need, for example, um, to print everything, or actually right now um, we don't even need to to have like all textbooks, no. Okay, for our um for our subjects because we know that we can actually create content digitally and and give it to our students okay and once it's online okay they can easily access all of these materials okay simply by having their phones their tablets or their 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 laptops okay so with this kind of uh, no, no, of accessibility education became even more inclusive in a way okay and that's what we want no we don't want any learner uh being um 
uh, ano no uh, ex- excluded okay because uh sorry no ex- inclusive pala yung term ko kanina no uh, being excluded from the learning process just because they can't access a learning material okay but with learning management system we have a better distribution uh, capabilities and of course with automation instructors have more engagement time okay so yun ang gusto nating gawin no teachers okay? if your lms is making your life so much easier then you are you have a very very good lms okay? that's one of the key things we're looking for in lms it's supposed to make um or reduce no yung uh, yung administrative tasks ng ating mga teachers which is something na sobrang uh, problematic no lalo na sa mga I know you can all relate teachers no na minsan ang dami nating mga administrative tasks na nauubusan tayo ng time to actually teach and that's the sad thing okay but with a proper appropriate learning management system if that LMS no can reduce the tedious task for the teacher okay the teacher now gets to have more engagement time which is really no what we're supposed to do okay yes maraming salamat na teacher Lamberto no okay so those are some of the benefits no of um of uh, ano no of uh, a learning management system okay so whenever parents okay, students okay, and even our administrators no would ask about uh, learning ma- learning management systems and why we're supposed to use it and why it's here to stay teachers no hindi po mawawala ang LMS no kahit po bumalik na tayo ng on-site no that's one of the things that's going to stay as well no okay so kahit po mag face to face tayo we already saw how an LMS can elevate further this the learning of our students although maybe magkakaroon lang ng reduction sa paggamit kasi magkakaroon na kayo ng face to face pero what we're looking at would be a combination of an LMS and of course face to face setup um um uh, in our schools no in the coming years okay? uh in years to come in the Philippines okay so LMS are here to stay in the Philippines and uh, in our um um field no in education okay so with all of these things no about um about LMS okay let's now look on how an LMS okay is adapting to the to the pandemic and post pandemic demands okay because the pandemic and the post pandemic demands are entirely different kind of monster no when it comes to um to redefining education okay so let's look at some of the shifts in uh, education in the last two years okay and how LMS are supposed to adapt to this okay and the first one okay uh, when you talk about the 20 per, the, ano, the the pandemic and the post pandemic is that teachers with so much confidence okay I'm uh, I'm confident that online learning is now an integral component of education before hindi natin masyadong pinapansin okay we still have a option okay Maraming salamat, Teacher Eugene Di Fiesta. No? According to Teacher Eugene, hybrid and high flex way of learning. Okay? So, yan na ang magiging common, normal modality no? ng mga, ano natin, ng mga schools. Lalo na ngayon, no? um, that schools and I think uh, even DepEd, no? okay? are implementing a reduced days of, um, of, of schools. No? Okay? Um, you, we are no longer going to school uh, in, in like, Five days a week, no? Unlike before, okay? Say, for example, in our school, um, our school, next school year, okay, will be having a four-day school week, okay? Uh, in which, no, and Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, and Thursday will all be on-site, okay? While um, we have a full online work-from-home setup every Friday. Plus, we also have a hybrid um, setup in our school. So, we have um, students online and students on-site at the same time. Yes, no. So it is inevitable, Teacher Lamberto, no. Okay, um, because again, no. While uh, the, pan- the the dangers of the pandemic is still here, we can't like uh, fully expose our students, no. Um, in ano uh, in uh, on site, no. And of course, we also realize the yung benefits ng working at home, okay. Lalo na for example sa mga teachers natin, no. Ang iba din yung uh, while the the prolonged two years of working from home is a different kind, no. Pero having a work from home setup every once uh, in a week, no, is actually beneficial, um, uh, financially, mentally, uh, physically for our teachers as well, okay. And of course, no, to our students as well, okay. 
And of course, the second one is uh, the second shift no, that we also have to take note of is that students' choice and voice have been magnified. Okay? Yes, no, thank you, Teacher Lamberto, for that sharing. No, okay? Ibig sabihin, teachers, no, more and more that our students okay, are, 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 are demanding okay, that they get to own their learning, okay, that they get to have a voice on how they approach a content approach of an assessment, um, their own pacing, uh, their own choices, of course, no, uh, in their learning. And we can't always have that no in um uh of course no LMS no in an online setup or e-learning okay, can fully um um address no that kind of uh, increase in student choice and voice of our students. Okay? And of course yung tinatawag nating learning goes beyond knowing. We have to also realize no that in the in the pandemic years no okay that we are all online okay uh, we suddenly realize that uh, teachers for example no uh, no uh, do not actually have the monopoly of uh, knowledge okay we realize that all of us have an equal access to information so it's no longer about what you know okay in the in the pandemic and post pandemic no in the 21st century setup it's all about Knowing what to do with what you know, okay, that's an even bigger, deeper uh, engagement with content and information in the 21st century. So, how will we respond to that? Okay, that's the challenge, no, for us educators. And of course, no, isa rin sa mga um, ano natin is that, and this is now a constant discussion, okay, in education with all of these shifts and constant changes in education is that. Education should be disruption resilient. Okay, when you talk about disruption resilient, is that our curriculum, our LMS, our strategies, pedagogies, strategies, no, and even our um, um, materials, no, okay, are um, resilient to different changes. No, so kahit magkaroon ng bagyo, okay, magkaroon ng lindol, okay, magkaroon pa ng isa pang pandemic, no, um, we're supposed to that. Uh, we're supposed to be able to already adapt to it uh, um, by this time, no? okay? So our designs now should be able to uh, allow any kinds of disruption without disrupting the flow of the learning process, okay? So these are some, some pa lang yan, teachers, no? okay? There are even more constant shifts in education that we are uh, looking at, okay? So with that, teachers, though, okay, I bring you okay, uh, D2L's Bright Space. Okay? So let me now introduce to you, no, not um, walk through no, or give you a, a, a full walkthrough because uh, I'm not yet in that position to be able to give you that. No? But let me now give you uh, one of the best options out there. Okay? So when, when we're talking about all of these characteristics, definitions, okay, and uh, benefits of an LMS, okay? and of course, how are these LMS able to answer the, the the pandemic and post pandemic um shifts in education okay education okay this is one of our best options okay so let me interest to you d2l's bright space so d2l okay uh, for everyone's information okay um is it's a i don't know um a, a provider of uh, really um quality um, learning management system. Pero bago siguro yan, no, before we even go to that, okay? one of the things that we are supposed to be reminded is that education's digital revolution is here. Okay? And, and we're not supposed to be left behind. No? Okay? Uh, as educators, we're supposed to be constantly leading the way. Okay? And we're not supposed to be the one uh, running after the changes. No, we're supposed to be the one creating the changes in the first place, okay? Uh, as an educator or as educators, okay? And that's where no D2L's bright space is also going to come in, okay? Uh, in the new normal, okay? Although this is in the context of the US, no, okay? Um, today's uh, tech savvy, um, parents and students expect modern learning experiences, okay? So we are no longer, uh, we could no longer, no, uh, expect our students to just accept traditional, usual um, setup in the classroom, okay? We're supposed to be running after this digitalization, okay, of our educational practices, pedagogies, and strategies. And of course, that offer maximum choice and flexibility, especially with uh, with a different setup at home, uh, etc. No, That's going to also be very important to the parents and kids um, or our learners, okay, in the 21st century. 91%, no? 
uh, again, this is in the context of the U.S., okay, parents want multiple education choices for their children and 71, uh, 70% want po post-pandemic online school options. That's actually one of the things we have to consider, okay? Because now that some people experience okay, um, uh, online learning, some of them actually want online learning. So how do we meet them at that demand, okay? And of course, 20% no, of schools, districts have virtual school adoption as part of their post-pandemic plans. No? So that's, that's what they're doing uh, in the US, okay? And that's actually one of the things also that's being considered here in the Philippines, okay? So while we can do a full face-to-face, -face, okay, I don't think we should like uh, only do face-to-face -face just like the pre-pandemic, okay? So while we do, for example, face-to-face -face in some days, okay, online learning uh, or learning you know, at home uh, through online should also continue, okay? And, um, I don't know, um, so D2L basically, you know, okay, for everyone's information, is a learning innovation company, okay? So they're a company that is dedicated on designing uh, platforms, no solutions, okay, in all order to to help educators, no schools, okay, uh, become a more digital uh, ready school or twenty first century school, okay, in order to reshape the future of education and work, no. So that's the that's the primary um, goal, no, and the dedication of D two L, okay. Kaya nga, if we are going to ask, no. Um, Again, no, Miss Clara, do correct me if I'm wrong, no? Because last time I was ako and I was uh, corrected by Miss Clara. D2L actually means desire to learn. Okay, so it, with in that name itself, no. Uh, if we talk about uh, D2L, okay, the the main purpose of D2L is actually uh, for for students, okay, to be able to desire to learn, okay. So how do we do that, okay? How do we motivate our students to actually desire to learn, okay? And and that's 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 where um, D two L is coming in. You know? They're designing, okay. Um, I don't know. Um, <coughs> uh, we can, you know, um, we can. Um, that's that's where D two L is coming in. You know? they're they're designing all of the solutions, okay, in order to um, to make it more appealing, of course, now for our students, okay, to actually want to learn. And of course, no, that's where um, things will come in for us educators if our students actually want to learn. Things becomes much much easier. Ayan, okay. Uh, Miss Clara Lim is already active in the chat, no, uh, engaging with our um, community. You know. Hello, Miss Clara, and thanks so much, okay. So, um, that's it, no. So, uh, for from disruption to innovation, okay. So for students and families, okay, um, they're they're trying to to make it more connected, okay. Highly personalized and engaged, no. Again, no, very crucial yung concept ng personalized learning, especially for students and families. For teachers, okay, it's a single system that um, for um, um, student, uh, for teaching and learning and there is automation. Ayan na yung hinahanap natin. Okay? We've been looking for, okay? One of the things I emphasized earlier, there is automation and personalization at scale, okay? So, D2L is also committed on making the lives of our teachers and educators much easier. Alam ko po, napakahirap na ng ating uh, ano, no, life as an educator, pero it will be made easier by D2L no, through their innovative uh, solutions for education. Of course, leadership. Okay? So even administrators are included in the design of their LMS, no? um, uh, uh, their bright, uh, bright space. No? Okay? Integrated ecosystem, actionable data, and trusted partnerships. So when we connect with D2L, okay, when you um when you explore D2L, no, okay, and D2L's um LMS, it's not like like um like a, a buy and sell kind of thing, okay? Uh when you engage with D2L, okay, you're actually building a relationship. Okay. You are actually uh going to um enter into a long-term relationship with D2L's team. No, hindi siya like after um you um you I don't know you subscribe um to um to D2L's um 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 learning management system okay and that's it okay actually after that training support okay uh and all uh, the things that you need to be able to optimize or uh, maximize the use of D2L will come into play so that is D2L okay it's not okay it's 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 a very uh, I don't know um very progressive okay uh, set of uh, team no okay so D2L 
it becomes your partner in teaching and learning innovation and transformation okay so that's that's what you can expect now from you from d2l game okay? so it's a worry free technology okay? uh, and we can assure you that no uh, i have already explored um uh, d2l's bright bright space and i can really see you know how easy to use it game okay? how how I can see um, educators and teachers being able to develop their modules, courses within D2L. Okay? And of course, we also have pedagogy and learning experiences okay? within the system. Okay? So you can fully integrate no, um, 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 and design your learning with appropriate pedagogies no, in order to meet uh, your students' um, um, learning styles okay? um, uh, in your classes. Okay? High-quality content. Okay? So you also have access to many content that you can already use no? uh, or preload into your, uh, into your LMS. Okay? And of course, you can also develop your own. Okay? You can, um, you can uh, integrate your content from different um, um, platforms. No? Um, I um, also was informed no, that uh, D2L's Brightspace is also connected to different um, uh, platforms such as uh, OneDrive, Google Drive, etc., which allows you to pull your resources into one place, which is D2L's Brightspace. And of course, change management and customer success is a priority. Okay, so um, when you, for example, no, me, mo mostly the worry of many uh, educators, no, and uh, schools and institutions is that it's so hard to transition. Okay, it's it's going to be hard to uh, to move from one element to another. Okay, that's something uh, D2L can assure you. Okay, that when you make that the choice, no, to transition. Okay, to make the the leap, no, uh, into D2L's bright space. All of that transition no, will actually be, you will be assisted no, uh, all throughout the process so that you can fully migrate no, your content, your courses, okay, your students, okay, uh, etc. into your platform. Something that um, that uh, D2L Brightspace no, is actually committed uh, in helping you. Okay? So we talk about um, D2L. Okay? Um, we, we, we're talking about a very solid foundation. Okay? So we are talking about a great technology that is non-negotiable. Okay? That's at the core of D2L. Okay? Um, and at the standard, okay, number one, it's mobile. Okay? Um, you can access it um, uh, anywhere. The portability is there. Okay? Accessible. Okay? Um, across different platforms, okay? reliable. Okay? Um, um, although, of course, no, as technology, um, there would be some um, problems along it. But overall, okay? uh, you will not worry about like bugs, okay? um, glitches, okay? or um, um, being unable to use it okay? because uh, the, the, the reliability of the technology is there within D2. Of course, predictable, okay? flexible. Hindi nahanap natin kanina, no? uh, an LMS. That's able to adapt to the demands and changes no, uh, of the pandemic and post-pandemic scenarios okay, is there. Okay? Scalable. Okay? Um, we can actually no, um, magnify okay, um, certain programs or um, processes okay, within your institution. And of course, secure. Ito yung sinabi kanina, no? how secured are your data? Okay? And again, D2L okay, gives you that confidence that your data, your students' data, your teachers' data, are all secured in that particular platform, okay? And of course, easy to use. Yan ang hinihintay ko talaga, no? One of the things I'm looking forward to um, on, on uh, an elements, no? How easy it is to use, especially not only for um, um, students, no? Also for uh, uh, for the teachers, okay? So you will not have a hard time developing your courses, um, uploading your content, etc. We will be guiding you through that, no? As we uh, explore this um, soon, um, in, in the next uh, few um, episodes of our Bright Space series. Okay? So that's, again, no? uh, D2L's Bright Space core. Okay? So you have performance plus engagement as well. Okay? So meron ka game-based learning, which I mentioned earlier. Okay? So if you were taking no, some of the characteristics of the LMS I was talking about earlier, okay? I highly doubt that it is not a 9 over 9. Okay? Yes, no. Uh, thank you so much, um, Miss Clara. No, we will be sharing um, also an ebook, okay, for all of you to as a guideline, no, not only about D2L but also on digital learning, okay. If I'm not mistaken, Miss Clara, no, okay, uh, the ebook we're sharing or we'll be sharing to our community, okay. So uh, more than an LMS, no. So again, no, 
this is not just an LMS. This is more than just an LMS. Okay? So this is a, uh, a learning innovation platform that's built uh, to, uh, to create no highly personalized experiences. So D2L's Brightspace LMS. Okay? It's not just an LMS. Okay? It's beyond an LMS. It's going to give you all the fundamental characteristics of an LMS and it's going to go beyond that. Okay? Number one, you have a digitized classroom. Okay? It's a fully digital uh, experience for your students. Okay? So content and video, collaboration and communication, portfolios are there, assessments and feedbacking uh, is uh, present. Okay? And of course, you also have optimized outcomes, release of conditions, nudges, okay? special access, gamification, uh, outcomes and analytics. Okay? So again, all of the things we're looking for on LMS. And not only that, transform uh, trans transform experience, okay? So learner-centric, okay? So at the very core of the design of D2L's Brightspace are the students, okay? So when D2L's team was developing uh, D2, uh, Brightspace, they all, what they have in mind are definite are one, the, the students, okay? And of course, the teachers, okay? Competency and mastery base and personalized. That's what we're looking for, okay? We are um, looking for a more personalized um, learning platform or learning management system that allows for individual choices, okay? um, um, uh, varied approaches okay? or strategies and pedagogies. Okay? And of course, um, um, the different learning styles of our students. Okay? So that's, that's, that's D2L's bright space for you. Okay? So uh, essentially, you know, if we talk about uh, this um, D2L's bright space, okay? Um, this is um, um, a resource, no? Okay, uh, that's just built for um, for um, for educators. So you also have access to these different digital resources, okay? That was built by educators for educators. So and dami na kagad uh, magagamit, no? Okay, so fully integrated with and optimized uh, D2L Brightspace, okay? Customizable curriculum-based resources, so you can actually select, no, and uh, customize, okay? Uh, the content of your curriculum, okay? Built-in assessments, okay? So, pwede na kayong hindi mag-isip, no? Or hindi tayo kailangan gumawa pa ng bagong assessments. You already have um, some assessments that are built-in within your LMS and highly accessible to all learners, okay? So, teachers, okay? From the side of an educator, this is an LMS that will make our lives so much easier, no? And of course, no, allow us to really impact the teaching, the teaching and learning process, no, regardless if it's online or on site. Ayan, according to teacher, uh, to Miss Clara, no, yep, embracing digital transformation in education. That's all about it, uh, teachers. No, that's what D2L is. That's what D2L's bright, uh, bright space is. It's all about that um, embracing digital transformation. Okay. So if we are, if you are an institution, if you are um, I don't know, a school looking to transform, no, to migrate to a digital experience, okay, then D2L Brightspace is what we're looking for. Okay? Of course, um, marami pa tayong mga ibang options no, sa learning management systems okay, uh, na, na present sa atin. Pero from the ones that we talk about, no, the characteristics, okay, the the um, the ones we're looking for um, for a learning management system, okay? Uh, I, I can confidently say you know, that the D2L's Brightspace you know, is very much up there. You know? It's actually one of the most most uh, used and most uh, sought after um, um, learning management system. You know? Not only in the field, not not only in the Philippines, you know, but uh, but actually in the world. You no, know? okay, so talagang malayo ang coverage ng D2L's Brightspace. Okay, so uh, that's your D2L's Brightspace teachers. You no, know? okay, so teachers. Um, with that, no, um, I will um, no longer, uh, I don't know, continue the discussion on D2L Sprite Space. We will have a full session walkthrough next week. No? So kung meron kayo, meron mga interested, okay, if you're looking forward to uh, to see uh, the different features no, okay, um, of what an LMS should have. Okay? So hahanapin natin okay, uh, sa isang LMS, ito na yun, okay? So we will have a full walkthrough of uh, D2L Sprite Space next week. Um, for um, for our um, next session, okay. So um, our speaker will be from the D2L team, okay. That one of the developers, okay, of D2L, okay, actually knows almost every parts, no, of uh, our D2L system, D2L's Brightspace, okay. So we will have that, no. So teachers, okay, couple of things, no, okay. 
um, so to be coming into our session next week, okay, we also have like this set of expectations that when we go there, okay, uh, well, well, one, we're looking for where we can uh, uh, check no, if this is the, the appropriate detail, uh, the appropriate LMS for us, okay, but at the same time, it could also be something that you can use in order to, you know, um, um, leverage your own LMS, okay. Or maybe to check your own LMS right now. Okay, sort of like a comparison. No? Um, and of course, no, if you so wish um, to, um, to to transition or to migrate no, to D2L, then that's actually going to be uh, a most welcome um, uh, I don't know, um, uh, decision. Okay, and we will be more than glad no, to assist all of you in, in doing so. Okay, so uh, that's for next week. No, okay, so I, I just gave you a teaser. An appetizer, no, to D2L's bright space, okay, uh, for next week. And of course, after that, we'll be um having um, um our uh, discussion, no, continuing discussions, okay, on the different um more topics, no, on D2L's bright space as well. Ayan, okay, nag nag um, smiley and um ano na, uh, thumbs up na si Miss Clara. Thank you, Miss Clara, as well for for that, no, okay. So teachers, before we end our session for today, no, and before I give you your evaluation link, no, okay. Uh, let me first also uh, remind you that this is just the beginning, teachers, no, okay. Meron pa tayong anim, uh, lima, no, sorry, five more sessions, okay, for our series uh, for Bright Space uh, series, no, okay. So um, this is um, learning management system and details Bright Space, okay. Next week we will be talking about supporting student learning, okay, and uh, through an LMS, okay. Um, and also included to that, uh, we, uh, with that would be Bright Space Walkthrough. We'll also be uh, doing building online courses. So I'll be um, uh, talking about how do we build courses, okay? Not only in D2L, no, Bright Space, but how do we build courses in general, okay? And then I'll also walk you through no, on how to build courses inside uh, Bright Space uh, course development, okay? Yan, papunta pa lang tayo sa exciting part, okay? And of course, um, we'll be also talking about uh, on the fourth session upgrading LMS with educational technology. So uh, app smashing with Brightspace. So what are the different applications that works with Brightspace, and how can educational technology you know, um, leverage your uh, your LMS? Okay? And uh, on the fifth session, we'll be talking about facilitating synchronous and asynchronous classes with Brightspace. Okay, so especially right now, there are still people online and offline. Uh, 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 online and on-site or those who are peop uh, people who are doing a uh, hybrid like um, um, sometimes on-site, sometimes online, uh, those kinds of things. So how do we balance that? And okay, the last one talaga, no, is a uh, hybrid learning power up. Okay? We will now ta, ano, no, um, um, discuss okay? and we will bring you on how an LMS could actually leverage no, a hybrid setup. Of course, through the use of D2L's Bright Space. Ayan, na-excite na yung mga teachers natin, okay? Uh, sa ating mga susunod na episodes on the following week. No, maraming maraming salamat po, uh, teachers, okay? Uh, I don't... Um, um, now, before we siguro we officially, ano, before I, I um, um, send the evaluation link, maybe we can entertain one or two questions from our... Um, uh, audience, okay? or maybe from Miss Clara, if there are questions from Miss Clara as well, okay? um, teachers, okay? um, we are open for um, for some question, okay? questions, questions, okay? maybe two or three questions, okay, okay. Uh, none from me, <laughs> okay, <laughs> from Miss Clara, okay, thank you. Okay, so so far right now, the Miss May, no, um, 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 we only have an a fully online version of the LMS, okay? Because again, um, the the real uh, uh, at the very core of the details bright space, no, Miss Miss uh, May is uh, to facilitate an e-learning environment, okay? And with that, no, we need connectivity, okay? But I think that's also something that um. Um, we can clarify with Miss Clara, no? okay? Uh, or on our next uh, session, okay? If uh, offline modality or offline sections or features, okay, of D2L's Bright Space is um, is present, no, okay? Um, or will be present in the in the in the development, okay? But that's a most welcome uh, suggestion, maybe as well, okay? Because we know uh, how important offline modality as well for our teachers, uh, for our teachers and our students. According to Miss Clara, yep, 
will look into that already. Ayan, ang bilis ng response ng uh, response no ng uh, D2L's team, uh, Miss May. Nasagot na kagad ang ating katanungan. So maybe uh, one more question from uh, our teachers okay, or uh, educators okay, or medyo na overwhelm na tayo kagad sa mga following <laughs> episodes natin right after our session for today. Okay, mukhang excited na tayo kagad no, sa exciting part. No? Sa parating na tayo sa exciting part ng ating um, series. Okay? Yan, maraming salamat po teachers okay, for that. Mukhang wala na. No? Okay? It's either... Um, uh, inantok kayo sa session ko or nakinig or na, na discuss naman natin ng maayos yung uh, session natin for today but either way teachers thank you so much maraming maraming salamat po no for uh, for joining us in uh, today's session okay so with that uh, we close our session um with um with uh, the evaluation link no so please take note that the evaluation link will generate your certificates right uh, away no so please do let me know if uh, it works okay or it doesn't work or um, wala po kayo tanggap kagad na certificate. We're supposed to send a certificate right away. Okay? Siyempre, okay, um, we also have to match no, how innovative uh, D2L uh, is no, as a team. No? So we also have to make sure that we are adjusting to their, uh, to the, um, being, the, being innovative by D2L. Okay? So teachers, here's your evaluation link. It's uh, https colon slash slash tinyurl.com slash D2L part one. Okay? Let me just also copy that in our um in our um chat okay so that you can easily access our um our link for today our evaluation link for today okay okay thank you so much um uh, fc etc no um teacher main teacher jay sargento and of course and sub coach okay thanks so much for uh, joining our session for today. Okay. Working po according to Teacher May Versosa. Okay. Let me know also if you've received your certificates. Okay. Because that's supposed to generate a certificate right away. Okay. After you have done your evaluation. Okay. Now, teachers, okay. Um, um, before we end, maybe, no, uh, I'd like to also congratulate uh, many of our teachers, okay, who have just done uh, the school year. Okay. May, many of you already have uh, done the school year um, uh, and your own. Um, Vacation as think um uh, congratulations on finishing the school year for those who are still on the last stretch um checking period okay checking week of um of your school year okay good luck on your uh, checking week okay and I hope that you're able to um, um finish that uh, already and uh, enjoy your much deserved break no and of course okay for those who are already preparing for next school year like us <laughs> we are preparing for next school year we are supposed we are op opening our school on june 20 yes napakaaga po no so yung iba um pa patapos pa lang no kami pasimula na kagad july 7 pa po ang public sir yan medyo matagal pa pala ang uh, public school okay thank you teacher uh, leasel villantes okay so teachers maraming maraming salamat po and um uh, ano, ano, um have a great day uh, please do stay um, positive in life and uh, negative from COVID-19. Okay, paalam po.